Welcome to the Lee Etzler Show, a weekly wrap-up and analysis of Cherubusco High School football. And now your host, Big Daddy Don Hyatt. Hi, I'm Don Hyatt, and welcome to Lee Esther's show. This week we'll be talking to the coach about the Eagles' victory over the east side and this Friday's upcoming game against the Angola Hornets. Also, we have a special guest, senior Kyle Monk. So stick around. We'll be right back after this. Hey, football fans. Do you want to keep track of Cherubusco High School football games? Log on to busconews.com every game day and watch up-to-the-minute pregame, halftime, and postgame interviews with head coach Lee Etzler. Stay connected with your computer or on your cell phone. Buscoenews.com. When you can't make it to the game, it's the next best thing to being there. We're back talking to Coach Etzler about the Eagles' 60-28 victory over the East Side Blazers. Coach, uh, again, you scored first first play from scrimmage. Uh, I think your second play from scrimmage you also got a touchdown on. Um, ran up 33 points first quarter. It's uh, Oh, we we came out uh, uh, pretty pretty well on offense. Uh, got after him a little bit and uh, scored a number of different ways at least, at least in the first quarter. So we were proud of that. Uh, you know, each team poses a little different test for you uh, offensively, and you know when we see success again, uh, you know it it, it feels good. Uh, so. Uh, look to be pretty similar to the first couple weeks, but uh, we're pleased with at least how we started the game. Kyle Matheson had a nine carries for 191 yards, four touchdowns. He had a pretty good, outstanding game. Yeah, it shows uh, what I'm sure everybody knows is he's an outstanding runner. Uh, uh, you know, good things happen when you give him the ball, and he's not really had the opportunity to carry it. Uh, uh, a number of times uh, in any given game, but he's he's made pretty good use of uh, the carries he's gotten. Uh, so pretty good, pretty good job. Hopefully, uh, you know, obviously teams are going to be uh, concerned about uh, what he does for us uh, running the ball, and, and uh, that of course should open up some other things in our offense. Uh, speaking of opening up other things, uh, you got another uh, receiver, Jeremy Forker, got a uh, touchdown pass this week. Yeah, well, he's he's been on my case all off season about uh, you know when am I going to get that touchdown pass, and you know we explained to him that that knowing his routes was the first uh, component to uh, that happening. Uh, uh, so we're we're glad uh, we're glad he did. Uh, you know he's a tall kid, he's a, he's an athletic kid, he's extremely fast. So uh, you know showing the ability to to throw the ball to him is 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 another good thing that that keeps people honest. Uh, uh, so we're glad that that happened for him. Lee, when we come back, we're going to be talking with senior Kyle Monk about his role with the Eagles, his career. Um, talk a little about Kyle and what it means to the Busco program. Well, anybody that, that has seen a football game uh, understands that he's a pretty important component to our team. Uh, you know, a number of, of great plays, both offensively and defensively. So those things are, are pretty obvious. He's obviously a very good athlete. Uh, and, and, and dangerous for, for opposing teams. Uh, probably what a lot of people don't see who just show, show up on Friday night, he's, he's one of the better, uh, more influential leaders that we've had since, since I've been at Cherubusco. Uh, you know, he, he's kind of a natural in that way. He's, he's been vocal uh, uh, even, even when he was young. Uh, you know, he started since his fifth game. Well, in fact, it was the Angola game this freshman year. Uh, had three interceptions in that first game he started and, and you know, did not, uh, even back then, did not seem or play like he was a freshman. Uh, tremendous leadership ability. Uh, you know, he, he, he does a lot of the talking uh, in practice, a lot of the motivating when, when kids are huddled up, you know, uh, at the end of practices and things like that. And, it, you know, it's his voice that's heard more than anything else. Uh, you know, those things are so invaluable 
um, to to any team, especially ours. Um, you need that positive voice. You know, it makes us feel good as coaches that that he's our quarterback. He's the one talking in the offensive huddle, and uh, you know the, the guys on our team. Uh, you know, they listen to what he says, he says and, and they respect him. So he, he's definitely a, a very good positive influence and, and probably uh, one of the best leaders uh, we've had since I've been here at Cherry Bosco. Stay with us. We'll be right back with Kyle Monk. Hey, football fans. Do you want to keep track of Cherubusco High School football games? Log on to BuscoNews.com every game day and watch up-to-the-minute pregame, halftime, and postgame interviews with head coach Lee Etzler. Stay connected with your computer or on your cell phone. BuscoNews.com. When you can't make it to the game, it's the next best thing to being there. The Lee Etzler Show is brought to you by BuscoNews.com and the Chair of Busco News. We're back here with Senior Kyle Mott. Kyle, you're our first guest we've ever had on the Lee Edster Show. We want to thank you for stopping by and visiting with us. Uh, Kyle, as a leader on the team, how do you uh, keep the other players focused? Uh, it's just making sure everybody's focused on our goals, making sure we're going out there doing everything right. It's pretty much, I mean, you either stay focused and do what we're supposed to do and get beat, and or you go out there and just make sure you're doing what you're doing so that we have a chance to accomplish our goals that we have and just do what we want to do. How do you feel that uh, you've improved from last season? Well, last season I pretty much played the whole year with a groin injury. So I've been healthy this year so far. So that's been good. Uh, just getting in the weight room, keeping, making sure the team's focused, playing with a sense of urgency every week, making sure we're staying on task, getting in film, conditioning hard, staying in the weight room, just stuff like that. How do you, how do you feel the team's improved? I think everybody's playing with that sense of urgency. I mean, this year we have more than just six seniors on the team, so we all realize, hey, it's our last year. Our freshman year was the last thing we've really accomplished anything besides last year when we won conference. So I think we all feel like it's our last year. We need to leave our, our mark on the Cherubusco football program. Speaking of the Cherubusco football program, uh, what's it been like playing four years for the Busco Eagles? Well, it's same thing every year. I mean, you're ex they expect a lot out of you. You're supposed to you do well in school. You get in the weight room. You work hard. You do what they tell you to. You're expected to <clears throat> behave in school, in class, wherever you're at. You lead by example. So, I mean, it's just being a good person, I guess, just doing what you're supposed to do. Um, what's your favorite position, the offense quarterback or defensive safety? I most definitely. Um, would rather play safety than quarterback. Just well, why would that be? I just I don't know. Playing it for all four years, I just I don't know. I just enjoy it a lot more than playing quarterback. You like the shots on the other people? Yeah. Or? A lot easier to kill somebody playing safety than it is playing quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> when he was in elementary or middle school, um, who was the Busco Eagle football player you looked up to? Uh, the only one I can really remember growing up with, uh, uh, Drew Bianski in the 05 team. I mean, we were all pretty much, Drew did this last game, or Drew's in, did this last game, or look at the picture of Drew in the paper. I mean, that's pretty much what we grew up with. I mean, there wasn't very, I didn't go to very many games when I was younger until about 7th or 8th grade, so Drew was now, always our idol. Because now you got a bunch of uh, elementary kids running around now going, hey, I'm Kyle Monk. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, and uh, what, what are your future plans in uh, after high school? Well, I hope to uh, continue to play football in college, go somewhere to get a degree in engineering, and hopefully just keep playing football as long as I can. We want to thank Kyle for coming out and giving us his thoughts on Busco football. Stick around. We'll be right back to talk with Coach about the upcoming big game against the Angola Hornets. Hey, football fans, do you want to keep track of Cherubusco High School football games? Log on to BuscoNews.com every game day and watch up-to-the-minute pregame, halftime, and postgame interviews with head coach Lee Etzler. Stay connected with your computer 
tablets or on your cell phone. BuscoNews.com. When you can't make it to the game, it's the next best thing to being there. The Lee Etzler Show is brought to you by BuscoNews.com and the Chair of Busco News. Welcome back. We want to thank Senior Kyle Monk for stopping by today and talking with us. We wish him luck this Friday and also the rest of the season. Let's talk about the uh, big game this week against Angola. Um, with West Noble's win over Fairfield last Friday, uh, Angola defeated Lakeland. That leaves uh, Busco and Angola as the top two teams in the conference heading into Friday night. Well, we we knew in in the off season, uh, you know, when last year ended, that that uh, this was going to be a pretty big game for us on the schedule, and you know, it proved, you know, it's going to prove to be that. Uh, the Angola coming in the game undefeated. Uh, we knew the talent that they've had the last couple of years, and they have quite a few kids returning on both sides. Of, uh, knew this was going to be a pretty pretty big test for us. Uh, they are extremely talented. Uh, it's a it's going to be a completely different game than what we've seen, uh, you know, with our first four opponents. Uh, a lot of lot of size, a lot of athleticism, and and. Uh, I'm sure there's a there's a pretty big chip on their shoulder uh, as far as wanting to prove some things in our conference. How do you plan defending the Bower to Boots? Um, they had 10 connections last week, about 160, 70 yards. Well, uh, we're still figuring that stuff out. Uh, <laughs> do we know how to defend them? We we don't have any clue yet. We're gonna we're gonna figure we're gonna figure out if we know how to defend them on Friday night. Uh, you know they're gonna get yards uh you know talked earlier about uh you know we need to have the right mindset going into a game like this and uh how are we going to react to them accumulating first downs and completing passes and and uh the most most likely uh, score a time or two uh and, and that's just the nature of their offense it's it's uh you know pretty close to impossible i think shutting them down and and you know our goal is not to shun because we want to be Hopefully we can make a play or two and, and get them in a situation where they need to punt and then we can get the ball and, and drive the football. Uh, so shut them down. We're, we're, uh, we're not going to shut them down. Hopefully we can slow them down a little bit, make a few plays, put them in uh, situations where they're third and long and, and eventually have to punt. And we just assume control the football as much as we can on Friday night. And how big is this game to you and to your team? Well, it's a... Uh, it's going to answer a lot of questions for us. You know, it's important conference championship implications. Uh, our goal is, as I'm sure their goal is, uh, one of them at least, is to win a conference championship. Going to be very difficult to do if, uh, you know, for the losing team. Uh, so it's a big game as far as that's concerned. Uh, but for us, you know, each week we want to get better. Uh, you know, so this is going to answer some questions for us. Uh, Things aren't going to be quite as easy. We need to respond to the, the good plays. We need to respond to the bad plays uh, with as much uh, and come back the next play and play just as hard as, as, as any other. So uh, there will be a lot of things that at least the coaching staff is excited about figuring out uh, you know, throughout the game Friday night. We want to thank Coach Etzler for taking the time to talk with us each and every week. We want to remind you to watch the Lee Esther Show every Thursday night at 7.30, right here on BoscoNews.com. I'm Don Hyatt, and we'll see you next week. This has been the Lee Etzler Show, brought to you every Thursday night at 7.30 by BoscoNews.com.